Morris Engines, and I'm Steve Morris, and this is uh, Tom Bailey's test motor for a SIC 2.0. Uh, this is not the, uh, the billet motor that we're building for, but this is a test motor. Um, it'll be, this basically is the same motor, um, in fact it's, it's identical to the same motor that is in SIC uh, 1.0. Uh, but this one is on methanol and is dry sump and uh, has all the same um, fitment as what the billet motor will have. So this motor will will go test the uh, the brand new car uh, with this motor and then probably put the uh, billet motor in um, for drag week or for PDRA type racing, uh, anything we want to really lean on something. Um, this is uh, one of our uh, 615 cubic inch motors. Um, this is still a 4840 base motor. Um, so this is not a uh, billet. This is a cast uh, water block, water heads. Um, this has 98 millimeter uh, precisions on it. These are the air inlets out of the car. Uh, of course this has uh, uh, all of our componentry. Um, this has a, a Peterson oiling system. Sorry, I uh, welded and uh, took a uh, sticker off of there for those guys, but uh, it is Peterson. Air motor fuel system. Um, this has a Moroso pan on it. Uh, Jessel componentry, of course. Um, everything built and fit to uh, our specifications for what we wanted to see out of this package. Uh, of course, we have uh, our billet intake manifold. This has uh, two injectors per cylinder for uh, the methanol, 500 pounds uh, per hour each. These are uh, billet atomizers. Um, they even say uh, Steve Morris on there too, the uh, addition they do for us. And this has a third rail that we run for the uh, street fuel system just for the drive. So we drive this on gasoline, or we'll drive this on gasoline. And uh, doesn't need much fuel requirement just for driving, but uh, it will be easily switchable from methanol to gasoline, uh, literally with a uh, toggle switch, and uh, it changes the fuel map and changes everything in poly all at the same time. Um, Brodix block heads, uh, our port work, combustion chamber mods, etc. Our billet valve covers. Um, let's see here, Skinny Kid did the uh, headers for this for the new car. Uh, this normally has bull horns on it, but uh, we just have our extension pipe so we can get into our exhaust system from here. This has uh, our uh, billet ram's horn. Uh, a little bit cluttery here because I got so much stuff in the way, but uh, that's a, a billet very nice uh, billet piece here. Uh, we call it the ram's horn for our uh, Y connection. So some of the fabricated stuff you might see out there. Um, coil line plug. We are using, uh, because we uh, have, this is dyno wiring. This is not the wiring that's in the car. The car has uh, been wired for the coils and sensors and everything so what we had to do was take all these things out uh, to run on the dyno so we are running our coil packs uh, which are identical to what's up on the valve cover uh, because the car is wired and we can't take all the wiring out of the car with all the mil spec connectors and everything that's in it so we use our wiring harness off the dyno. Um, let's see here, uh, we use these clear view filters, which uh, I really like, uh, especially on the oil side and fuel side, it really works well, they can come right up here. Uh, we sell these, have them in stock, uh, can help you with them. Um, very cool, you can just look right down into it and see if there's, see if there's actually a speck of, I uh, picked up a speck right there out of the fuel cell. Uh, very cool deal there, uh, Innovator West, um, dampener. And uh, let's see, uh, 
our conformatory, diamond pistons, of course. Uh, this has MGP rods in it. And um, like I said, everything we do, they we, we spec to what we want it to be. So, um, great engine package uh, for our uh, what we would call more of a conventional 4840 based uh, 615. Um, but what we'll do here is we'll go out, set the camera down, and um, make a dyno quote and look at the numbers. Alright, now let's go look at the numbers. And we can see right through here. Get the camera fixed right. There we go. Um, zoom in just a little bit, but not too much. See right down here at 7,500, uh, 3,625 horsepower, 2549 torque, and at 35.72 pounds of boost. Uh, it's oil pressure and then some EGTs. Um, all the way down at 4,500. Now we are bringing in a boost curve because right up here you can see we're only at 16 pounds of boost and as we're ramping boost in as it RPMs uh, it's continuing to climb uh, 6,000 RPM or 2635 at 25 pounds of boost uh, 6500 we're 2995 at 27.8 pounds of boost 7,000 RPM we're 3321 at 32 pounds of boost and that 7500 number again is 3625 at uh, 35.7 pounds of boost. Um, you can see on the curve, the curve looks real good. And you can see where it starts pouring in the boost a little bit harder right through here um, as it builds up. Uh, still climbing up through here, uh, but uh, we're still sorting things out on the dyno and um, big motor stuff is always hard on dyno parts. Don't let anybody fool you. So we're happy with this and uh, we'll sort everything else on the car. And it's gonna be pretty awesome. So I'm Steve Morris. Steve Morris Engines, have a great day.